Hello friends. So today we have another definition paragraph that begins with we can see charity. Charity is love in action. And love for your neighbor is translated into meaningful actions that would help the needy irrespective of caste, creed or religion. We call it charity. So that is the definition. What is charity? Charity is love in action. Love is a concept, isn't it? An idea. But when you put that into action or translate that into action, it becomes charity. Charity becomes possible when the divine element of altruism is present in a person. So there is, we say just as we say about the search engines now, Chrome is a search engine, Firefox is another search engine, like that. We have a search engine here, but the engine is altruism. Altruism means doing things for others without or helping others without unconditionally, without expecting any reward. That is altruism means. One may ask a legitimate question. Who is the needy? The best example or the best answer is found in the parable of the Good Samaritan. So helping the needy is charity. But who is this needy person? <laughs> who is your neighbor? And that is the best answer is found in the Good Samaritans, the parable, famous parable. One can see all the dynamics of charity and charitable deeds in, in that, in that you can see. And that means, you know, charitable deeds in that means in the parable, a passion for putting other people's needs before you is. That is charity. He puts other people's needs before others, uh, before he wishes. See, you are, you have collected some money for the marriage of your daughter. Then another person comes, a very poor person. Your daughter may be 20, 23 or 24. His daughter is 30, 34. And he has no money to marry her off. He comes and begs. Then what should you do? If you are a charitable person, you should take that money, you work whatever you have collected and give it to him. Then what happens is that you have, you are putting his needs before you wish. And that is charity. Charity in action. So there is a passion for putting other people's needs before you wish. Charity expects nothing but gives everything unconditionally. There's no condition. It's not a borrowing from you. You are not lending money, but unconditionally you are giving. Every year in September, we set apart a week, a whole week, to enjoy the joy of giving. While giving our time, talent and treasure, to the needy, we are serving others as well as we are we are serving others as well as us. When you are serving a person, you know, when you give, you receive. You may think that is a paradox. When you give, how can you receive? I will tell you. In between, there is a very interesting thing. One of the hormones that is produced by our brain is called serotonin. Serotonin that will help you to remain young. Now this serotonin is produced in our brain when you serve others. So when you are serving others, you are not losing anything but you are gaining. Now those things are not mentioned here because as I told you often sir, my body is a very small one. I cannot uh, write down all that. Not only that, if I start 
Suppose I start talking to you about serotonin, then it becomes an essay. You know this paragraph writing, 20 minutes you have to write 150 words, not more than that. If in my paragraphs you find more than 150 words, then you should cut, it, cut them down. Understand that, this is not all, but you get an idea, you know, so that you can uh, trim it, you can, uh, you know, you can uh, adjust it according to your needs. That's why in between I am saying some other things also, like the serotonin and so on. And now you have, as well as us, charity begins at home. Famous statement, charity begins at home. The stepping stone to charity is the help that you, we give, or you give, you extend to the members of your family, or our family, and also to our relatives. So first, the, the very first action, actions of charity, you will find taking, germinating or taking place in your circles, family and relatives. So, so by doing charitable deeds, we are laying the foundations of heaven on earth. So in, in, in heaven, there is only love. So when you are doing deeds of charity, here you are laying the foundations of uh, heaven on earth. So this is a definition paragraph on charity. The most important point is charity is love in action. I think you have benefited out of this, so for the time being, by Now, uh, soon we will be taking up the third type of uh, paragraph that is similarity. How are you, how, how will you approach, to our, what, what will you do, what are our, our uh, steps to write uh, a paragraph on similarities of things that we will do in the very near future for the time being. Bye.